You ready to get started, councillors? Okay, welcome to um, the meeting of the Recreation and Amenities Committee, the first of the Civic Hall. Welcome all um, on Tuesday, the 10th of May. I'll start with the first item on the agenda, which is item number one, election of chair. May I have a, yes, <laughs> Councillor Hinton. I want to make Councillor Donald Cook. Okay, thank you. Is that seconded? That's for Arlet, thank you. Any other nominations? Yes, Councillor Clark. Okay, is that seconded? Okay, thank you, Councillor Buckley. So we have we have two nominations. So the next thing we do is we take a vote for that. Yeah, okay. Okay. All those in favour of Councillor Crook, please raise your hands. Okay, and that's good. Yeah, take it for me. Okay, thank you. Congratulations, Councillor. No. I, I don't know, I didn't see. You are yes. allowed to vote for yourself. Indeed, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, please. Right. Okay. Right. Thank you, everybody, for voting here. Basically. Anyway, election and vice chair. Any nominations? I'd like to start off by nominating Councillor Kelly Hinton. Any other nominations? Stick to the vote then. All those in favour of Councillor Kelly Hinton? That's it. Lovely. Thank you. Right. Apologies for absence. I've not received any apologies. Apologies. I've got cerebral and I'm substituting for her. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Declarations of interest. Any declarations? <laughs> Public participation. Anybody would like to speak? Public participation, speak now. Do any, any items on the agenda? We have one about food pastry. Yeah. Yeah. You want to speak? I'm Hans Meister, chair of the Heavy Arts and Crafts School. This is Sarah Harris, who's the exhibitions officer. We have a lot to do with, with the gallery. So we were very interested in the plans that you might have for the extension of drawing. Right. I have made some points to, to um, Kat, which I understand she has mm -hmm. passed over to you about other, other items in the gallery that uh, right. um, might be of interest. Okay. All right. Any questions? Anyone? Go on. Go on. I was going to say, have you, have you gone through the, the report that's on the agenda? Sorry. Have you been through the report that's on the what do you think of the current? Well, we haven't really had time to realise there was so much involved. Okay. <laughs> That's right. We've only had it for 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. What, what would you like to see done with it? Just so we can... um, additional storage room would, would be excellent as far as users of the gallery. Um, you know, uh, um, there is storage from now, which, which we use to its full extent. And, um, there are various um, bits and ideas that uh, you know, we could. The kitchen is in need of a bit of a refurbishment, I think. And also, I, I, a very strong point of mine is, is the um, um, disabled ramp. In the front, which I, I think is very dangerous. Right, so you need a new ramp. No. You need disabled access, really. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, is it more 
is it better adequate provision for disabled access? Is that what you mean? Well, it's something that, that you have to take down from the, All the right. side and put up on okay. person alone. It's just absolutely impossible. Is that it place. like what they have at the railway station where you have that metal ramp? And is that what they have? Sorry, I can just add on to that. Um, yeah, there's a there's a kind of a uh, wooden ramp that's in there at the moment and it is extremely heavy. Um, I, I find it a struggle to move by myself. It, it's more something uh, for a couple of people to move. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, Dave? The ramp in the middle, it, it, if it's hollowed out and it's needed, then it could be put out by the uh, town council. Yeah. Prior to hiring, if it's needed, work to be left to one side. That will then solve the problem of anybody that's hiring it, moving it. It can be moved without anybody getting injured because they're trained to do that. Okay, right. Okay. Right. Any other questions? Is that it? Right. Should I move along? First, I've one question. Sorry. Do you say you've spoken to CAP uh, with any ideas that, that you wish to put forward? Is CAP going to say those when you speak? Um, I wasn't going to go through the points that have been raised. I passed them to Becky and started to discuss some of them with Sheridan. They're more to do with the current operation of the West yeah. Yeah. of the gallery. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Right. Let, let's move along then. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Um, six to approve the minutes of the recreation meetings held on Tuesday, the 29th of March. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thank you. Of the minutes. Okay. Of the minutes. I just okay. want to, can I talk on something? Yes, quickly then. Before uh, 66. Uh, historic Information Board, uh, or board, which is done at the uh, Red Line. Um, I, I take that as it's been uh, resolved, so I'll take it from the group of 1,300 uh, plus VAT for the board to be installed at their run to do and finish off the final bits of it. It was just um, uh, having it, uh, seeing where it's been positioned, whether it gets its best um, footfall and whether it's going to be in a, a safe place where people are not actually doing it from the side of the road. Um, I, I was going to go down there to try and find out where exactly where it's going to be located to make sure it's located in a suitable place. Okay, can you answer that, Becky? Yeah, so it's going to be in the flower bed on the left as you come out of the Red Lion Hotel. And it's on the long side bit of flower bed in the middle. And it's where Viv suggested it be placed. But is it that's on still on the highway? That's where the traffic are passing. No, because it's like facing the steps to St. Mary's Church. So it's not on the highway like that, it's like that, and it's in the pool. But that is and there's a pavement. Nearest the turn, so it's not going to be on the highway. Yeah, that's the, highway, that's right. yeah. that's right. the bit that you'd all walk through naturally, anyway, so it's probably a good stopping space to you. Okay, yeah. right. Let's yeah. approve that. Okay, can we approve? Um, the board, right. Okay, yep, yeah, right. Um, minutes of the Putting Green Working, working Group. Who is the minutes? Uh, to, just to note. To note. Yeah, okay. Right, hang on a minute. Right. Next is the appointment of subcommittees in terms of reference to their membership. Um, I didn't say what I said earlier. Yeah, yeah, I spoke to Becky before, and being as we don't really meet, haven't really met with these open spaces and anything, but um. We're quite efficient at doing it on RNA so that, like, if there was anything, because it's then spending less officer time having without those groups. Kelly. Um, the history of the Open and Green Spaces subcommittees, it used to be the Mill Meadows subcommittee. Um, and 
it was it was widened to include more of our green spaces, which meant that it was sort of yes, in some cases, duplicating or the first step of something being seen before it came to here, and it's something that we can do here, and it's more efficient to do here. What we will be losing, and I want to highlight, is the fact that this is the subcommittee that has outside bodies on it, uh, outside representatives, and so sometimes when we're discussing certain things for Freeman to make into Mill Meadows. Um, having the input of, say, somebody from the Defence of Freemans or having the input from the River and Row Museum or Greener Henley, the wildlife group, is actually really valuable. Right. But that's not to say that we can't invite those people to present at, at RNA meters and have their input here, and, and that's still just as efficient. But I do want to highlight that because yeah. that's an important reason to have these subcommittees, and I don't want to lose that element of it. So as long as we counteract that by making sure we keep including these people, consulting with these people, and inviting them to the meetings if we've got a particular thing to talk about, then I'm happy. I think it's efficient. I think yeah. it makes sense. But I just I really want to still have that engagement. Yeah. Okay, Councillor. Yeah, Chairman, look, there's only a year to go of this of this council. Why don't we just vote these through and just you know, keep them as is, just for the for the final year? If the new council wish to change them, uh, you know, come next year, they will all well good. But I don't think it's going to do any harm just to keep them as they are. It makes little difference. All right, okay. Yeah. Well, no, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll, I'll move that. Yeah. Okay. Then all in favour of that? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I've done it. Right. Okay, that's fine. Okay, just checking. Right. Cass, can you come to the table? It's now item eight for street store. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> out of so the background to this is that um, we had a quinquennial survey done um, about three years ago, I think, um, that identified that works were required um, in the relatively short term to the West Street store. It's a listed building. The town council has a responsibility to upkeep the listed building. Um, if we didn't look after it, uh, SODC or the government could step in and um, carry out works and then bill us for it afterwards. Um, so we, um, we got a surveyor, a conservation surveyor in to carry out a condition survey of the West Street store. Um, they've identified approximately £84,000 worth of works that need to be carried out within the next five years uh, to stop it deteriorating further. Um, so whilst looking at the works, the works that would be needed to be building anyway, um, it was considered that it would be a good idea to see whether we could generate revenue from the building. So this report sets out various options for generating revenue. Um, about eight different options, so that there's some duplication. They're summarised with costs on page 27 of your agenda. Um, none of them are inexpensive. Um, obviously, to bring it into residential use would be the most expensive option. Um, though, if the council were to consider renting it, um, making it affordable housing, there would be the opportunity to apply for Section 106 funding from SODC towards the costs of the work. Um, but the, the, the most, um, the, the quickest um, option to pay back would be the book by the hour meeting stroke function room. But as the council already has several meeting and function rooms that are underutilized at the moment, that doesn't seem the most obvious use to go for. Um, the next three, um, quickest payback options are a workshop stroke studio space, residential use, whether long-term long or short-term really, um, or office use. So this is asking or seeking confirmation from the committee that you're happy for officer time to be dedicated to looking into this a bit further. Um, at this time, it is a question of officer time, probably Jodie Ryan's time to put a plan, a pre-application 
um, requesting to SADC to look at different options for the building. And I pro would propose that we looked at um, office, residential and workshops uh, or studio space for that. And it would cost just over £600 for a pre-application to do that. Um, and depending how that came back, then we could look further into the options and the, the need for, for those options, those uses and the costs of undertaking that work. Okay. Can I can I just say something about the option for the community centre? We have a number of community halls in the town that are very much underutilised. And we only have to take an example of Trinity Hall. That was really underutilised. And thanks to having a bit of conversation with someone and then Glenn passing the information on that the music school has now moved into Trinity Hall and they're going to do that, at, that do that up and it's going to bring it back to life. But there is still some another part that's underutilised there as well. But there are other buildings that need to be better utilised by organisations that could save these homes from falling into disrespect. This is there, and I think that our communications manager could signpost organisations to these halls and community spaces so that they are utilised, so that they are kept and not neglected. And I think that's something that we should be encouraging. So, right. Okay. Yeah. Right. I, I think so. Just, just quickly, I think we should just stick to what. Yeah, I know, but I'm just trying to okay. highlight the fact is that not, yeah, that's what we could do, do as an option is to sign post people to the community yeah. halls that we have in our town yeah, to well, keep them viable. I, I know, but I'm just trying to highlight that. Lawrence. Oh, I think one of the most thorough reports I've read. Are you like the how old limestone buildings used to ventilate in there as well? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think we should. Uh, it, it's set out really clearly on page 29, uh, option two, four, and five. You know, I think are great to progress with. If we have the also the profits of time, uh, we do have the funds, so I think we should progress with greater research into those options. Um, my personal preference would be, um, seeing as we've spent so much time also looking into community land trusts and bits like this, and you know, social affordable rent is something that we talk about a lot. So my half leans towards if we can get 50% funded. I know it's not one of the quickest payback options, but that maybe we go for that as a preference, but completely agree that the other two offices, option five and option two workshop and space space should, should also be looked into. And, and I'd like to recommend that we do progress with both. Okay, yeah. Dave and Kelly. I was just going to second it. I'm going to stay. I think all historic buildings, anyway, heritage of Henley, and if we custodians of uh, Henley and, um, and own buildings, it should, if, whether we, whether the council rented it out or not rented it out, it should always be restored to its former glory, anyway. As the um, as the fire station um, gallery, anyway, which there's a lot of work needs to do in that place as well as um, in the, the store. Room. I think it um, the whole lot needs refurbishing. Um, in the fire station gallery and bringing it up to date with um, uh, preserving the history of it and also the out, that out building to preserve the history of that as well and, and have it as a, another little gallery because I think the fire station gallery is booked out consistently all through, the, all through the year so if you have another gallery in there I think that would get looked up the same. Okay Kelly. Um, I just wanted to second Lawrence's proposal I pretty much agree with everything so okay. Okay. no need to repeat it. I'd also like some more further investigation into um, the short term let to see whether we could provide that in the house. If not, to, it's an option if we can look at that a bit further as well, if that's possible. Um, so, um, Betty, this is going to struggle with you. Oh, sorry, Lam, Glenn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lam, either is fine. Um, <laughs> I just wonder if we were to go down the sort of short let Airbnb route, does that, put, does that put us in a difficult situation when we're commenting on things like the Premier Inn? And well, it's, it was just investigating. It was just investigating that. That was all. But I mean, if we ended up going down that route, would that compromise us? The investigations would tell us that. I think it doesn't look good for us. Because well, if we were Airbnb in something and opposing a hotel. I know, it was just a, a suggestion. I'm a vote against every Airbnb as well. So oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, I mean, to, to clarify that, that point, um, there would be a conflict of 
in fact, so it, yeah, okay, right. on, on, on certain things that the, the, the committee, that the committee should still uh, comment, so I think may choose not to comment because of the particular interest. I would say on something like Premier Inn, for example, um, there are probably bigger overriding, um, uh, overriding uh, issues that, uh, that would dwarf any interest in the, uh, in the West Street store, um, but certainly on, on other smaller applications for, uh, for similar things in the area, then, then yes. Okay, thank you. Ted. Yeah, I think just first thing to put these ladies' minds to rest, I think we should be um, discussing the, the gallery as well, because um, I haven't read all of this because I know about a hard copy. That's probably my fault. I should come, come and get one. But I did read in here somewhere one of the options put forward was to take some space from the back of the gallery. I can't remember if you were telling me what that is. And I, and I think we just need to knock that off the agenda straight away. And we leave the size of the exhibition centre the, the way it is. Yeah. So I'm not sure if you can just tell, tell me where I can find that. Um, there is a reference in here to maybe moving the boiler, I think. That was, that was the main option we were looking at. I thought I read somewhere else you this we reduce the back of the we, we reduce the back of the exhibition centre. I'm sure I read that somewhere. This is just the start of an investigation. We're not passing any judgments or decisions. I'm saying we don't need to look at that. We no, don't we don't we don't need to reduce the space of the exhibition centre. That, that's that's what we don't need to look at. If you want to look at anything else, all the other 10 options or whatever, fine, we're not with that. But I think we don't need to reduce the size of the exhibition centre. Yeah. And if I if I misread it, I'm sorry, but yeah. that, that's I think it's just yeah. I'm sorry, I'm going to go against you on that. Um, I think we just need to just do the investigation yeah. first, and then have a clean slate and yeah. start again. Yeah, this is just to investigate that. So all those applications. Yeah. yeah. So okay. we've got we've got it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Those just all those. Okay. Yeah. All those in favour to investigate. Okay. That's fine. All those well, against. I'm against. Thank you. <laughs> Just to investigate. Right. 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 Right, let's move along then to progress. Thank you, mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. Thank you. Right, Fairmile First Chapel. Hello. Just interested in who it's being marketed to, really. Who we got think that's going to die? Becky. Becky, that's so cool. Becky. Becky. Let's ask him to speak. Sorry, we'll stop coming, please. I'm saying it's a bit tongue in cheek, really. Right. <laughs> I okay. just wanted to do it because the way it's always being marked. Right. Okay. River okay. Bank repairs. Um, I do think that this should be moving forward because it was Kelly Hinton that first came up with this, and I think maybe we should be progressing with this now. Is that okay? That Kelly. The, the repairs can wait if they like. It's the steps I'm really, yes, really thinking. <laughs> but I also would like it to be in a safe environment. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd like to, and I'm happy to help wherever. Yeah. <laughs> personally help everybody in and out. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll personally help a few more people. Yeah, Kelly. So yes, on the riverbank repairs, it, it was uh, very much put on hold uh, because of the work that's been put into the adventure goal. Uh, now that's uh, up and running, uh, although there's still uh, still more more work to be done there to finish it off. Uh, then uh, we do have more resource now. So so yes, we'll definitely be looking to take that forward as soon as possible. Okay. Right, right. Okay, Lido Working Group. Sorry. What's happening with the? Um, we had the slipway reopened and all the concrete taken out of it, but it's still not operational as a slipway with the jetty still sticking in there. Is there any chance of them being 
moved at some point, so that can be used as a slip lane, as yeah. it used to be. This item is being discussed at uh, uh, FSM. Right, it's going to be discussed at finance. Right. Yeah. Okay. Councillor. Uh, in actual fact, now he's put two craft in front of it. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's move along to Lido Working Group. No update on that. Tumbleweed. No. Well, I got told off. <laughs> got told off of me that day last time. Tumbleweed. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. Fencing at Freeman. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I've had no involvement in this whatsoever, um, but it's been hanging around a long, long time now. Um, I was speaking to someone that uh, the member of the one in Reading, uh, just off the um, Kings Road playing fields that used to be there. Um, have we done any work on this um, of you know costings? If we were to build one, costings, income, and whatever. Yeah. Because I think maybe people should get in touch with the people at uh, Kings Road Meadow. We can sound fantastic. And possibly get some, and, and they can probably get some figures off them because it may well um, work out that uh, this may not be possible to uh, uh, to go ahead. But it, you know, I see no point in you know spending more time, more time, more time. How long is three, three, five, three, five, seven, two? Um, oh, that's been done. That's going really well. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, it, it, as you can all appreciate, it's, it, it's a huge project. Um, Caleb has done a fantastic job at the workings and the costings. We've been in touch with numerous other councils to find out that. So we know it is possible and feasible, but it's underpinned by land. Land is the greatest obstacle we face. Uh, after much investigation into many bits of our own land, uh, even Meadow Marsh Meadows and all this, it's, it's, you know, they're unfeasible, they're unworkable, they're floodplains, they're too, they're too expensive. Although they might be possible and desirable, the cost of them would make them completely unviable to be provided, uh, which put us back into the remit of talking to other local landowners to see, you know, and I'm sure plenty of those have been discussed already, be it you know, prominent local school, who does playing fields, et cetera, as to where it could be. Uh, but those discussions are fairly lengthy and ongoing until someone comes forward and says, you know what, yes, um, so it's one of those, can we do a huge amount of work on it? No, Michaela and the working group have already done a vast amount of work. Uh, now it comes down to, can we find that piece of land for summit? Okay. The, um, when you say marsh and mill meadows, um, yeah. it, it, could, it could quite easily go into marsh or mill meadows uh, if it was in a conservation area or there, if it was a river or park. Because in Wallingford, that's on the flood plain, and you've got two swimming pools there. You've got swimming pool and um, Upper Ligo, um, and that gets flooded on a regular basis. But that's they still got swimming pools there. They just clean it out and revamp it. Um, it's not, it's not, when needed. It's not to do that. It's just planning and building yes. costs. We've been to SNC yeah. planning consultants and looks like this. Okay. This one is don't remove it. It is still ongoing. Okay. All right. Fencing at Freeman's. It looks lovely, by the way. Thank you very much for putting that in, and that can come off. Thanks, I took offence to it. It can come off now. I hope not. Come off now. Um, marketplace seating licenses. Um, this can be removed in progress. Oh, 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 sorry. Sorry. Right. sorry, yeah. yeah. The, the question I did, we, we wrote to John Hell on this, must be a while ago. Mm -hmm. Have we had any response? And the reason I ask that, I've had a couple of items which I've written in too, and I've had no response. So is it just me? Am I like here or? No, I, no, we haven't received any response as far as I'm aware. No, because yeah, the, the, you know, the question we were asking, you know, we're, we're losing 24K a year, but <clears throat> are on a one size fits all from, from the government, where, you know, we can only charge a hundred pound, where, you know, maybe centre of London, they can probably afford it there, I don't know. But you know, why should we lose out on 24k a year just for um, some government uh, policy that's been put in place for, for two years, which I know it's finished in September. But one would imagine that RMP would at least come back to us with, with an answer to our question. You know, why is it a one size fits all? I don't think it should be. Yeah, sure I would say this this is uh, it was temporary emergency legislation that's uh, that was put in place to uh, to help businesses. Uh, usually, um, seating licenses would be issued by a principal authority uh, where the income would 
uh, being relatively small um, uh, uh, yeah, in, in, in comparison to, to the income that, that we as a, uh, as a council receive uh, from them. So um, I would, I would uh, hazard a guess that the impact on virtually every other um, licensing authority would be, would be negligible. Um, uh, whereas it's uh, so, it would only be um, ourselves really who who are who are kind of greatly impacted by uh, by that um, versus uh, a lot of businesses who have obviously uh, benefited greatly uh, from the from the legislation. Also, the legislation does come to an end um, uh, at the end of uh, September, and I very much doubt that anything could be done retrospectively. Um, so we hopefully only have to wait it out for another four and a half months or so. Um, and then, uh, then it should be back to back to normal. Okay. Yeah, can I just come back? Can I, can I just come back on that? Yeah. Well, yeah. The, the point I'm trying to make is, you know, why haven't we had a response from our MP? Mm. Irrespective, you know, what what you may say is, is totally correct. I don't have a problem with that. But why haven't we had a response from our MP? That that that's more of a concern to me. The, the well, it's not. The, they're both a concern. You know, you know, we're paying money out there to clean it, which is absolutely mm -hmm. dead money now because we're getting no income in. To, uh, to pay for that. And, um, you know, I think the likes of, you know, RMP uh, should be responding to this, you know, to, to see the problem we've got you know, and, and what it's costing us. Um, so, I, you know, I think you should just send him another email letter tomorrow and politely ask why we haven't the response. It's probably been, what, three, four, three or four months now? Write him like, like another one. Um, Thank you. Dave. Dave. Um, you know, I, just, you know, I agree with what Ken said. We're spending money on the marketplace to keep it clean and tidy and everything, and we're getting a, a lot of revenue, so mm -hmm. uh, we're losing a hand over food. And I think that um, this should be kept on the agenda until at least the September, until we've um, until because if it's taken off, you can't revisit it for six months. So I would say leave this on until we get to September and then review it after that. Yeah. Okay, Kelly. Um, two things really. The first is that. Now the Conservatives have little control over so few councils in the United Kingdom. I think they really are out of touch um, because obviously there's been lots of local elections. So nobody's got Conservatives anymore, but we haven't had a general election, so we're stuck with the status quo. Um, and I think there's a real now disconnect between local councils um, and the government because of that. Um, but the other thing I wanted to say is that since the licences were decided, obviously new businesses have come to town. Um, and it's just unfortunate timing for them, I suppose. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't suppose there's any leg room to. Well, I know because I was part of the thing. That there's <laughs> not any leg room, really, is there? Um, but perhaps it might encourage everyone else to behave if they know that yes. their space may go to the new people. Yes. Keep within the line. Yeah. Yes. Um, Ian. Ian. Clark. Yes. Councillor Clark. Clark. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Sorry. I know just to remind you, I was sitting around the square, probably dropped over the road, and was dragging their chairs across the York side. like to say Louise is doing a fantastic job down there and all the staff and everything so it's amazing to well done. Kelly? Do we know how much roughly we're talking so far? 80,000? Um, Never. <laughs> 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 I think we're talking just shy of about 30,000 so far. Wow. That's um, and um, we, we have seen that um, uh, it does dip down during the uh, during the weekdays and then uh, peaks very much uh, at the weekends and bank holidays, and we have the Jubilee weekend coming up. Uh, what we're hoping is that as the um, uh, tourist season uh, kind of really um, uh, gets into full flow, <coughs> then we'll see kind of like more of a flattening out. So, um, so, uh, so the use uh, during weekdays should should increase, especially during school holidays. Uh, so it's suddenly looking um, way uh, way above predictions at the moment, but it is. Uh, it is early days. Uh, there are also still some teething issues uh, that need to be uh, sorted uh, sorted out there. But 
myself um, and Carl and, and others of working with uh, Queen's Banter to sort out. Notice there is so much traffic down there. Now I would like to consider putting more car parking spaces down on the right hand side by the railway line. No, you can't do that. Carl will tell you why you can't do that. And it's not on the agenda item either. So, so it, it, you'll discuss it at another point, yeah. 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 Okay, Joe. Do you mean removing the hedges? Yeah. The, it is a proposal we've already discussed previously. Oh. It's next to the stream. I can't remember the exact reasons why it wouldn't work, but we have discussed it already. That exact proposal. Well, it's your proposal. I mentioned it, and I spoke to Carl, and he went down and he made it up. Sorry, okay, we can. Then, but, um, okay, let's move along. Okay, Macon's, yeah, okay, Macon's Recreation Ground Basketball Court. Any questions? Okay. <coughs> well, I think it's, uh, it's a, a, a really good thing to put up on Macon's because you've got the football, you've got the, you've got the exercise mm -hmm. stuff, you've got playground, you've got skate park. It's um, we've been going for three and five minutes. Yeah, this might be a silly question. We've only got one basketball. Yeah, um, so what do you do when, when the other teams start going? Do you have to move the basketball at the other end? You only play, you only play half a side. Oh, okay, that's fine. Right. It's a practice course. Right, okay, moving along to finances to note the management of accounts. Right. Okay. Right, fine. And to conservation update. Kelly, sorry, I know it was just before the, I know you've gone to conservation update, but I do, I do miss the bar graph still. I know I mention it a lot, but I, it, you know, a few times you hit, but I miss the bar graphs that show us the moorings every month for the last few years, and then they show the year before. I like to see how well we're doing or how badly we're doing, and I can't remember why we don't have it. Oh, um, yes, we, we can do those. They were separated out from the uh, management accounts. Um, obviously, this is, um, uh, I think it's Liz Sampson's uh, first month of doing the, the management accounts, um, and also being busy with year end, but no, we certainly can show that on the, on the phone again. Basis. And we're also going to be including um, uh, wedding income as well, uh, year on year comparisons. And we'll also be including the adventure goal uh, there. So it'll be a separate appendix. Yeah, good point. Right, conservation update. Any questions on that? Kelly? No, but I've had tadpoles in my garden for a while now because uh, it got a bit dried out at March. So that's been exciting. Yeah. So, um, yeah, complete animal rescue on So mine. <laughs> I've got them next to my pond. pond. Yeah. I just can't put them in my pond because I'm used to eat them. <laughs> yes. Sorry, um, uh, Lex Conservation uh, Warden would like to pass this thanks on to the um, residents, including um, Kelly, um, for, for uh, adopting the, uh, the tadpoles from the, the, uh, the uh, dry, dried out um, pond. So yeah, thank you very much for that. I want to know if we get maintenance for them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, transport. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and, sorry, um, and, and Glenn as well. I did as well. It's so small, though. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. You can feed them. Just feed them when they get legs. Yeah. Yeah. Cucumber. Chopped up till keep their mouth for it. I've fed it on yeah. wildlife. They, they do. They eat it. They get mad for it. Anyway. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, to explain what I was referring to, oh, sorry, this is where I start. Um, what I was referring to was that the lakes had dried up, the ponds had dried up at Marsh Meadows, one and the tadpoles, yeah, one of them, and the, the tadpoles were going to possibly die, so lots of residents went down and collected we buckets. We interfered with nature, we're going to... But <laughs> Lex wanted as many of them to survive as possible. Yeah, okay. And they've all got prosperity now. Sorry. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, on, on this no mo may, which you either like it or you hurt, so I've mowed the back of left the front. Um, <laughs> 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 I'm not sure what to do. But 
when you look when you go along the fair mile, which I did on Sunday, um, we've got so many dandelions there. Are we going to cultivate them or, or what are we going to do? Because if we're not careful, you know, come next year and the year after, um, it's, just gonna, it's just going to be a massive dandelion. So I read somewhere where you can make something with dandelions. Thank honey. Well, well should, should we, we make wine? Well, should yeah. we cultivate them? You know, try and make some money. There, there's so many, there's like fields and fields of, of dandelions. It's, it's good, good for everything. Good, good yeah. for the insects. Birds the love it. Yeah, it's good for the insects. Right, anything else? Anyone else? Any comments? I'd like to say, Matt, you look lovely, that bank there. It's fantastic. So, and my head's well, the head's lovely. But, but yeah. so. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Tree works. Tree works. Um, agenda item twelve. Tree works. Oh, um, yeah, I can, I'm willing to take questions if anybody has them. Dave. I am Paul for the campaign. It's um, there's quite a lot of trees in and around Henley um, with ivy growing up. Um, and all you does is grow trees. Is there um, in the uh, the tree things that go around? Do they actually monitor that and um, put that as part of um, severing the roots from the the things before the ivy gets hold of the trees and then obviously kills it? Um, yeah, what you're saying is kind of uh, you say tomato, I say tomato. Um, Pete, uh, with with a with a um, ecological point of view, um, ivy can be very good for um, insects and invertebrates and and whatnot. And also, but I also get where you're coming from. It can also act as a sail um, if it grows and, it and grows engulfs grows. a tree. Absolutely. So we have tree we have tree surveys that uh, um, we have tree surveys done. So any works that are needed to be done um, will be done. Um, any epicormic growth that grows from the bottom of the tree up, we will we will also have that all severed off as well. Okay, Kelly. Um, I I found myself talking with, about trees quite a lot with various people from Ver Henley and, and other authorities, and um, I have to say we really do spend the money, take the time, do all the things necessary as responsible uh, land and tree owners. And it's one of the things I'm really, really, really proud of with this town council. Every time I have this conversation, the amount of work we do, I think is, is expected. It actually should be done of, of anyone that owns these, this amount of trees and, and this amount of land. But I just think, um, yeah, I'm really proud to be a member of the town council that takes tree work so seriously, the safety of them, um, conservation, biodiversity, all of that. I think it's really, really important. And I'd really like the direction that we've headed in this through town council. So I'm fully supportive of this. We put the money aside. It's there. The money is carried over in anticipation. So, yeah, I propose to go ahead with the recommendation. Okay. Lawrence. There's only three of them. No, I was going to say that. It, it's set up very clearly in 3.2. Um, <coughs> I think we should vote through recommendation 5.1. Yeah, okay, then. Is that a proposal? Yes. Is that seconded? All those in favour? That's carried. Okay. And then on to agenda item 13, Town Hall CCTV. Any questions? I thought it was a stuff there. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Lawrence. Oh, no, I was going to say, you know, going through it, you can see that company one and company two are very close together. Um, but it's, you know, evident to company two is that is the preferred of the two. It's a minor cost difference from company one. So again, I think it's a it's a good decision and something that is needed. Okay, Dave. These um are these static cameras or they are they can they be fitted inside the inside the van? No. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so there, um, so you can get PTZs, uh, which can be uh, uh, controlled remotely. I don't believe that's what we're uh, uh, requesting here. They are ones that that they are they're a fixed position, but you can you can alter once you've installed them. You can alter the manually by going to them and turning them. You can alter the direction. Yes. 
The reason I've asked that, because if they've got control and they get a radio call through, which I, when I've seen them before, um, when they get a radio call, well, there's a, an incident in one part, they can actually pivot the camera around to actually see that part of the street at the same time. The time no, this is for the town hall day. Yeah, oh, is this just going on? Yeah, it's just in, in, inside the town hall. Oh, inside. Sorry, yeah, inside, outside. not outside. Yeah. Um, yeah, you have um, it's going to be a 12 volt system using existing cables where possible. Was power over Ethernet camera not included, not uh, considered at all? I can't do much more. Um, that's a very good question. Um, my, um, so we have, so the cameras are replacing the existing cameras, which are, um, <coughs> uh, which I, I believe they're analog. Um, um, so it'd be so we've got the analog plus uh, power to it rather than so you could do uh, power over Ethernet, but then you'd need to put in the additional uh, cabling. Yeah, you um, would do, but it obviously would be upgraded to the structure. I'm just wondering if it was considered. I'm sure it'd be far more expensive. I just mm. was it considered or not? Um, I think we asked the companies for their best um, what they options recommend. and what they recommended. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Right. Although the, yeah, although these spec of cameras are uh, are still they're, they're still as, as good as you could get for power uh, use and as well. They're, they're still very high definition. Could I ask what the annual service charge is for A, B, and C? Um, I can't remember, but it wasn't. It was only. Mm -hmm. but I can check. Yeah. Okay, right. Any other questions? Will it upload automatically to the internet? I know it stores it locally, which is great, <laughs> but will it also upload to the internet? Uh, yes, so uh, I believe it's the hit vision so, okay. so, so um yes, all of those um uh, as long as uh, as long as it's um networked into the uh, server then then yes, you'd be able to access it on mobile devices using an app and, and that sort of thing. Cool. Okay, any other questions? No, okay, so should we put it into the boat that recommend station 5.1? Okay, all those in favor?